Uh, going just, just looking at the earnings themselves, this is a significant quarter for SK Hynix. Uh, given that local analysts were all concerned that the lower average memory chip prices globally would mean a disappointing quarter for SK Hynix, but again, the week one during the third quarter pushed up numbers, the bottom line for SK Hynix, and also there was a big increase in memory chip demand for mobile products during the third quarter. So their earnings were good, but again, we have external factors pushing the stock down this morning. Also, let's take a look at the autos, Hyundai Motors and Kia Motors, Hyundai Mobis, all, all reporting third quarter numbers today and tomorrow, starting with Hyundai Motors, third quarter earnings coming, to, coming in today, near market close at around 250 today. Uh, the local analysts are expecting the seventh straight quarter of drop in their operating profit for the third quarter. And also another name reporting today, LG Display, is opening lower today as well. They, they will also be reporting after markets close today. Take a look at POSCO. They are uh, down about 1.8 percent. They are expected to increase dividends and also they, they, their, their dividend payout is already in the high end right now, but uh, they will be maintaining the return rate of about 4 percent. They're also expected to be the first ever in their sector to pay out quarterly dividends. So we are seeing uh, a, a bit of a, a lower open for POSCO given that they, they showed a rally of 6 percent yesterday in trade. Also, another major standout that we are looking at, LG Electronics, continuing their rally from yesterday on news of a GM supply deal that, that, that pushed up their uh, shares to a four-month high. So uh, that's what we are seeing in the Korean markets this morning. Matt, over to you. Thanks very much, June. We've got a